Yeah, I'm trying to find the angles. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Adeja Sade and I am back with a video for you. So as y'all can see by the title, this is going to be a get ready with me who the girl edition. Yes y'all, I'm about to get ready for work and y'all about to see me get cute. Like, I forgot what I was doing because I had to answer the freaking message. Uh, okay. Anyway, yes, I'm about to show y'all how I get cute for work. It is currently 1.22 and I have to be at work at 4.15, so I'm getting ready a little early, but that's just something I have to do. Y'all see, I got my robe on and I got my freaking bonnet on because your girl just got out the bed. And I got this, I have like a pimple right here and I hate it, but whatever. <laughs> so y'all, um, trying to figure out if I want to do my makeup first or if I want to take my hair down first. I guess I'll do my makeup first. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to be talking to y'all, telling y'all what's going on. I mean, there's really nothing going on with me. I just honestly been working. Just been working, trying to get this money, trying to save some money, y'all. I'm currently just priming my face because, yeah, you know, you gotta do that. Anyway, yeah, I'm doing a cute eye. It's some, something going on in the back. I'm gonna do a cute little eye, whatever cute cat eye you know like b or whatever we're gonna be cute we're gonna be cute all right y'all so i'm about to go on with my eyebrows i do have an eyebrow tutorial up so if you did not see it i'm gonna link it up here somewhere up here and yeah y'all go make sure y'all check out my eyebrow tutorial it's really easy beginner friendly like i know a lot of people well i don't know a lot of people ask me oh how do you do your eyebrows so i just made a quick little one i'm pretty sure my eyebrow routine is going to change soon because i always change how i do my eyebrows so yeah anyway y'all if y'all see me looking this way it's because i have a mirror here <laughs> so yeah but yeah guys it's so crazy because when I do my makeup, I'm usually like listening to music or I'm like watching a video, which I do have a video on, but I mean, of course, I don't want to play it because that's going to be way too much going on. But yeah, and it's like I have to tell y'all and talk to y'all and I just really don't know what to talk about because y'all, my life, my life is like, I have a routine. I go to work, I come home, I go see my boyfriend. I, like I do the same thing every day like I really don't do much because I'm literally always working so yeah with these brows. one thing about it I gotta make sure I brush these brows out because your girl your my brows has to be they have to be on point like if my brows aren't on point my whole makeup is gonna be thrown off like literally Yeah, I've been so like into music videos. Like, I love a good ass music video. Like, I'm not talking about music videos that we have nowadays where they be rapping or they be singing about something that has nothing to do with the video. I'm talking about them good ass 90s, not even 90s. We can go back to the 80s, 80s, 90s, early 2000s music videos where there was a story with the video, like. The lyrics matched up with the video y'all it's hella good videos out here especially the movie ones i'd be so intrigued like damn how did y'all come up with the concept for this video like y'all stan by eminem if y'all seen that video i'm pretty sure everybody knows stan like 
I don't even know how you say the word stan and you just don't think about Eminem like I'm pretty sure Eminem like made up that term and it's in a dictionary or something like that like anyway y'all that video was so crazy and it, it's like so deep I wonder if that like happened to him like I don't know if a fan like did some crazy shit like that to him but it's a really good music video like it's really deep like everything about Stan like the beats the words it's like damn M you was really spitting you was really spitting but like that's a good ass music video Rain On Me by Ashanti that music video is bomb too if you haven't seen Rain On Me by Ashanti the music video bro First of all, Lorenz Tate, fine asses in that video. So, when I see him in the video, I was already 100% in. I was like, damn. And it came out in 03, and it looked like, it's very clear, like, I don't know. It looks very, like, modernized. It's a really good video. Um, we all know that damn song, so. If you haven't seen the video, I don't know what the hell you're doing. I think it's because I'm older now and like these songs are starting to make sense to me. So when I see the video, I'm like, oh shit, like Rain On Me. It's about Ashanti and her like domestic violence relationship. Well, not hers, but it's a story about domestic violence and it's just so deep. Like she has like three versions to it. She has like a mini video version, like I think like a regular one and then like a long video version where you see like the entire story. And it was so fucking sad. And I, like my sensitive ass, because I'm a cancer. Shout out to us. I started crying because if you know, you know. If you know, you know. I ain't gonna say nothing. Just go watch the video. Just go watch the video. Love a good ass music video. That's one thing about me. One thing about me, I'm gonna watch a good ass music video. Like videos don't really hit like that no more. They don't like, I feel like music videos don't even really give you a vibe no more. Like, it just, it, they just be like, I don't know, in front of a warehouse rapping about like money and cars and shit. I just be like, okay. Okay. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. I've been watching music videos, old ones to be exact, because they just, I don't know, they just go. They go for it. I'm about to be going in for my brows y'all make sure I sculpt them right I can't talk while I'm doing my brows so I'm gonna I'm 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 be right back like give me a second okay whatever that's perfect but yeah yeah I went to Ulta yesterday and I went and bought the Juvia's Place Foundation. And guys, tell me why this shit is light as fuck. Like, I swear, I thought that this was my shade. Like, I just knew that this was my shade. One in there, one, they don't even have shit. They barely have any freaking shades. And then I went and picked this up because I'm like, okay, I saw this online. I matched my shade. <laughs> that's my that's my fault right there. I tried to go online and match my shade, but I went online, matched my shade thought that it was this because i'm like okay like she's 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 around my complexion put it on my face i was looking like michael jackson i was like okay yeah and it's like the crazy thing is it's not even that freaking it's not even that light like it looked dark and i put it on my face and i was looking like michael and i was like Ew. yeah so i gotta go return this probably tomorrow because i just damn sure can't do it today i was pissed though because I'm running, running out of foundation, like, the Fit Me foundation I have, I think, like, I don't know, I got lighter or something, because, like, it don't even, it's not even my skin tone no more. So, I have this Makeup Forever, which does match my skin, but it's almost gone, and it's like, I really, I'm running out of options here. Like, when I went to Ulta to go get that, they were about to close, it was, they closed at 7, and it was, like, 6.40 something, and I went, got it. And I couldn't even return it in time, so that's a bummer. Anyway, so I'm about to go in with this makeup forever that's like almost gone. So let's hope that I'm able to get some foundation out of it. I gotta 
wipe it off because it's dirty. Okay, 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 something's coming out. Let me see what I can do. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay, so we got we got a little sign coming out. I'm gonna just take my makeup blender. It's dirty, don't judge me. I just used it yesterday, actually, so. Anyway. So, y'all, the new year is here. It's, I mean, the new year's past here, but the new year is here, and I felt like for 2020, I spent way too much money on fast food, so my goal is to stop spending so much money on fast food, so. I'm going to off tomorrow, so I want to make dinner for myself. And I don't know if I should do fried chicken or baked chicken. Because I love baked chicken, but I love fried chicken too. And I'm like so excited to cook. Like I love cooking, y'all. Like I don't really get to do it as much because I work. Like I'm usually working nights and I get off at like 12. So I don't really get to cook as much as I would like to but i really like i'm excited especially since it's sunday like i can do like a nice sunday dinner and make like some fried chicken mac and cheese and i don't know string beans or something like that we're gonna see we're gonna see i might um record myself cooking so i have a cook you know a cute little cook video with y'all whatever i don't know yet though i don't know we'll see we are gonna see but yeah, I really want to stop eating out. Like, I spend so much. Like, I'm pretty sure Grubhub, they might as well sponsor me because I'm always Grubhubbing some food. I'm always eating out. And it's like, I kind of want to be a, a healthier version of myself this year. And I just want to eat good food. I mean, one thing about me, I'm, I'm going to eat fried chicken. But I still want to eat healthy. Like, I can eat in portions. I don't have to eat a lot of fried foods or anything like that. Like, I just definitely... I just want to cook more, y'all. Honestly, I really just want to cook more. So, that's one of my goals for this year. Is to definitely cook more. Have I cooked this year? The only thing I really cook is, like, breakfast food. Because, like, I have time in the morning to sit down, cook, and eat breakfast. But that's it. Like, I really don't have time to be eating dinner sometimes I don't even eat dinner I just come home and just go to bed so I think it's good for me to cook some more I was like looking for this cookbook so I can like I don't know make new stuff because I want to learn how to cook a variety of things not just one you know chicken like I want to cook hella shit I want to learn how to bake too like that's something I really want to learn how to do is bake because I feel like if you can bake you're just that bitch like a bad bitch and I want to bake my own like cakes and shit and I want them to look good like I want them to look good I want them to taste good I want them to be cute so I want to learn how to bake that's going to be a new goal for me is to learn how to bake I'm going to start off small then I'm going to just make my way into it but yeah I was thinking about getting an air fryer, but it's like, <laughs> I feel like once I get that air fryer, I'm not going to be cooking shit. Everything's going to go in the fucking air fryer, so. I'm going to go ahead and not get one. Because, yeah. I don't cook how I want to cook. I don't have time for it. So, I'm going to make time to cook this year. And, yeah. Another goal of mine for this year is I really want either a new car or a new apartment. Well, an apartment because I don't have my own apartment. I don't have my own space. Like, I still live at home with my mom. Which is cool. Like, if you're still living at home with your mom, it's cool. Like, don't feel pressured to go and get your own spot because you 
just feel like everybody else is moving out like everybody else is moving out on their time like it's their God brought them to a place where they you know could do that don't rush into anything like that especially moving out especially if your parents are still you know trying to help you through the way like save up some money make you really have to say save, save up some money go out there find you a place but don't rush into it and that's what I'm doing like I'm not trying to rush into it because I definitely want my own space but my mom is letting me be here rent free where I can just stack up on some bread and find me a you know a nice small place to move into so that's definitely a goal for mine a goal of mine this year I really want my own you know apartment so I can blast Ari Lennox new apartment because that's my song but yeah um what else what else I have so many goals that I want to hit this year one of my major goals this is like at the top of the list I just really want to I want to rip like a stronger relationship with God um that's something I've been saying forever and it's like it's something that I really want to work on like just having a strong relationship with God um you know I always have faith in my Lord and Savior don't even get me wrong but it's like I, I really want to be closer to God I really want to feel stronger I want a stronger relationship with God I just feel like I'm not going to be able to get through life feeling you know happy without God like it don't work like that like Everything that I have is because of God and, you know, I just owe it to him to just try to spend more time with him, try to read into the word a little bit more because that's something I definitely need to do. So that's a very good um, goal of mine that I want to hit. Powder, I use the Morphe Translucent Powder. I really like it. Um, just don't get it on nothing white because it does stain. I really need Rona to go like a goal for me is to travel and I can't travel if Corona won't get the hell out of here like bro I'm over here trying to relax I want to go on somebody's beach and soak up the sun and I can't because Corona won't take her ass home like girl we get it you came and you rained and it's time to get the hell on I keep want Biden to like shut the US down because I really feel like we need to be shut down like I feel like Corona is not gonna go anywhere unless we sit down and Trump didn't do it so I think Biden needs to do it he needs to do it ASAP I feel like the quicker we get to shutting stuff down the quicker Corona will be out of here but like I said I'm doing just a little just a little beat, nothing too crazy. Cause I honestly don't even want to wear makeup today. Okay, so after I'm done with that. Butter Gloss by NYX. Whatever. Anyway, I'm going over my Butter Gloss.
just a slight glossy lip nothing too crazy So this is the look that I'm going for today with my makeup, you know, nothing too crazy, nothing too be, just something that looks slightly, it's still a beat, but it's not giving like, you know, Oscar prom, none of that. Hey y'all, so this is pretty much what I'm giving today. This is my outfit for work today, my shirt. Got my shorts and then my pouch is in my room. But I just wanted to show y'all what I was given. Pretty much what it looks like when I have the whole thing on. But yeah, my outfit, my hair, makeup for the day. Just to, you know, look a little cute. It's not too much, not doing too much. Just to, you know, make a little money on this shit yeah y'all that's hey y'all that's it for this video make sure you comment like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can know anytime i post um if y'all want to see any more videos let me know down below in the comments also if you want to know the hair deeps if you live in richmond virginia i will leave that down on the screen her instagram name is at nadia samaya she does bomb ass blowouts bomb ass faux locks anything soft locks whatever you want my girl can do it but yeah y'all thank you for watching my video and i'll see y'all next time bye